Children, grab your pillow, and parents, grab your lighter. Make yourself real cozy, because we're pulling in a lighter. It's a podcast about the fairy tales you've heard many, many times. This time will be different, because we're stoned out of our minds. So spark up a bowl, and tuck yourselves in. Once Upon a Dime is about to begin. So we're talking about Red Riding Hood. It starts with the little girl. She lives with her mom, and she <laughs> and she's like just an innocent girl. Her mom, I guess her grandma's ill. They're gonna bake some cake and wine. Mom said to daughter, "Bring this cake and this wine to grandma because she's not feeling so hot. So this will help put a pep in her step." She's got a red riding cape, and she's gonna walk through the forest. Wolf, he's, gonna, <laughs> he's like talking to the little red riding hood. He's like, "What are you doing?" The red riding hood's like, "I'm just, uh, I'm just taking this wine and cake to my grandma because she's all sick." And Wolf's like, "Yo, girl, let me join you." So they start like walking down <laughs> in the woods. He's like, he's like, "You know what else, Grandma would love? She would love some flowers. Why don't you pick some? Why are you, why are you hurrying off to Grandma? Do more for her." He's like, "All right, I'm gonna ditch this little." girl go get the grandma uh, and she doesn't even notice so he goes to the grandma's house <laughs> knocks on the door and grandma's like uh, who's there I'm it's little red story. riding hood i have cake and i have wine and she opens up and then he snatches her with one bite grandma got eight he took your clothes <laughs> and he laid in her bed and then little red riding hood goes down the trail finally gets to the old lady's house and Grimmy lays the door was ajar Red Riding Hood's like wait something's up she's like hey you got big old ears uh, what's up with that? She's like, better to hear you with, right? I can hear you better. She's like, I got these big ears. I don't need hearing aids. And she's like, what big uh, nose you got? You got a big old schnoz. She's like, you got big old like appendages. She's so she, obviously she's figured out that this is not her grandma. Uh, she gets eaten up by this wolf. He ate and he was satisfied. <laughs> and the uh, huntsman heard that uh, he was snoring. He's got a real loud oh snore. The huntsman comes in and sees that the wolf's sleeping. He's gonna shoot him. And then he was like, wait, I can't shoot it because it's probably got a lady in there. Cuts the wolf open, and then the, the little girl pops out, and so does the grandma. She was barely breathing. <laughs> yeah, she's like... And then they gave her the one. Put rocks in the wolf <laughs> and sewed him back up. So then the wolf woke up, and he was like, hey, we can't move. And then, so when he went to get up, then he was punished, and then he was killed. And then, and then the, the girl uh, and the... The uh, grandma ate the cake and the wine, lived for like ever or something, <laughs> happily. Her lesson was listen to mom, because mom said don't stray from the path. Close the chapter on this episode until we meet again. And so the story goes, we turn the page to find the end.